god, you know what I just remembered about that motherfucker from middle school? Okay, I got beef. I still have beef. Not with this guy, but with the the guy that the he, the girl that he ended up uh, dating after we broke up. What happened was we went on a trip to Cedar Point and I was wearing my favorite fucking hoodie. It was like this like dark red hoodie with a really cool design on it. It was my favorite hoodie. It was so comfortable. I loved that fucking thing. And this girl who I remember, this is like a year later. I don't think she was still with this guy. I think she was with somebody else. She like spilled something on her hoodie and I was like, oh, bro, no sweat. I'll just give you mine. Just be sure to give it back to me when the trip is over. And she's like, oh my God, thank you. You're so nice. I never got that fucking hoodie back. I never got it back. The only time I got to see that hoodie was in fucking pictures she uploaded to Facebook over the next like four fucking years of her at like random parties wearing my fucking hoodie. My favorite hoodie. She never gave it back. It was so soft. It had the perfect like material. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't too light. It had like, like a really cool like flower design on the front. Such a bitch. Honestly, actually, she was pretty nice. Maybe she just forgot. But it honestly felt like she was taunting me. Every time I'd be on Facebook in middle school and just like scrolling and I see her wearing what used to be mine. <sighs> maybe she'll still give it back. She just haven't finished borrowing it. Oh, maybe. Maybe. And what if she just shows up to my door? Like tomorrow. And it's like, oh shit, sorry. Here, I dry cleaned it for you too. And it still fits. I'm gonna have dreams about this. I think I've actually had dreams about finally getting that hoodie back. That is one of my, my deepest regrets, my deepest shames. I never should have lent that hoodie to her. That would be really freaking epic. She still has to wash it. It's in the washing machine right now. Yeah, maybe it's taken her like upwards of 20 years to get the stain out of the other hoodie that she was wearing. And she's just waiting for that. She's waiting for the stain uh, technology to advance to the point where she can remove it. Did you try asking for it back? Uh, no. Here's the thing, it's, uh, bro. D don't you feel like an asshole when you like lend someone something like that and you like go up to them like oh so uh about that thing uh could you give it back to me because like i didn't really know her i didn't know her like that if she was like my friend or like even like an acquaintance i would have been fine with going up and asking bro she was like pretty much almost a stranger to me she was just like a random person was it my bad in the beginning to even lend her the hoodie? Am I the villain? And you know the worst part is? Oh my god, I'm gonna have a fucking mental breakdown. The worst part of this all is that she's probably gone the last like 15, 20 years of her life not even thinking about that fucking hoodie or thinking about me in any way. She probably like gave that hoodie away to like Goodwill or something after like a few years. Or maybe it's like in the back of her closet. She hasn't even thought about it. But bro, I think about that time I lent her that hoodie and I never got it back. Maybe like once a year, I get reminded of it. Isn't that sad? Is this how people become like serial killers? She knows and laughs when she wears it. Do you think she like has nights where she's like, hmm, tonight I'm gonna light some candles, maybe listen to some nice music, and then I'm gonna put on that hoodie I stole from that stupid bitch in seventh grade. I'm gonna pose in front of the mirror with it on. <laughs> maybe slap myself around a little bit. <laughs> and maybe lip sync to some Britney Spears, maybe lip sync to Toxic by Britney Spears. Put on a little show for myself, just for me. <laughs> she probably dyed her hair while she wore it and stained it so bad. No! My honey! I'm just imagining the ugly fucking...
fucking bleach stain all around the like hood part of it. No. <laughs> she probably did. You know why? Cause she wasn't a natural fucking blonde. That's one of the main things I remember about this woman. Or she was like 14 at the time. But she's a woman now. She she had she probably bleached her hair while wearing that shit. Oh my god. Bro, think of all the food she probably ate in it and got it like got the crumbs all over it. Think about how many nights she was like, hmm, I feel like I wanna take a, a little cozy cozy nap while wearing my my new favorite hoodie. It's kinda chilly out tonight in Michigan. I'm gonna sleep with the window open and get really super cozy under a bunch of blankets and wearing this nice red hoodie with a cool floral design on it. I don't really remember where I got this hoodie, but I like it so much. It's so comfy. And then she just like drifts off to sleep in it. Gets like sleep drool on it. Oh god, think about her waking up in it and maybe like enjoying like a cup of morning coffee. Maybe like sitting at the table doing her homework wearing it. Oh, I hate her. I hate her. No! Think about all the stray hairs that she got in that shit. Think about all the times she like went out for like a night on the town wearing that, all the parties she went to, all the memories she weared, made wearing that. She's wearing my memories. Those should have been my memories and my hoodie. I could have been wearing that hoodie all the times I did stuff. She just, she probably just gave it away to Goodwill, yeah. Or even worse, she probably just like, I don't know, forgot about it in the back of her closet when she moved out of her parents' house. I want to look her up on Facebook right now and see if she still has it. That's how fucking pissed I am. Maybe it was her favorite because she got it from you? Wait. What if, like, what if she held on to it and, like, it reminded her of the time she almost had, like, the worst Cedar Point trip of her life in middle school, where she, she spilled, like, a big gulp, like, a big slushy on her, her, her own favorite hoodie, and the day was almost ruined until a kind stranger on the bus was like, oh, no sweat, you can have mine, just give it to me when the trip is over. And she, every time she looks at the hoodie, she thinks about that moment and how, how it made her day. And how it was like a hero to her. Am I a hero or am I a villain? Am I like Walter White? Am I like an anti-hero? Bro, she probably thinks about like all the memories she made wearing it. And looks back on it so fondly. Maybe she's dead. Yeah, maybe she died wearing it. <laughs> Wait, I actually- I have to look her up and see if she's still alive because I would feel so bad if she actually died. Fuck, what was her name? I can't remember her name! I- I was so mad at her for so long in middle school, but I don't remember her name. Isn't that funny how that works out? This hoodie smells like rotten fruit. <laughs> Bro, that cedar trip- cedar point trip was wild though. I won the coolest stuffed animal. It was like a huge fucking blue dog stuffed animal. Because me and my friends went up to this guy who was like trying to guess weights. And like if he guesses wrong, you get a stuffed animal. Are the, is that like a scam? I feel like that's like a scam. Because like... Wouldn't you like not want to guess someone's weight correctly? Because wouldn't that make them feel bad? Hate to break it to you now, but that girl it was you. You had gone into a time loop with amnesia. You still had your hoodie when you got home, but you thought you gave it to another girl? I fucking wish. Wait. Was I the one who spilled on myself? Maybe it was her hoodie all along. Maybe I borrowed her hoodie and I gave it back. No. Is her name Rebecca? No. <gasps> I remember! I remember her name! I remember her name! Holy fuck. Bro, holy shit. I, I gotta get, I gotta log on to Facebook. I have to see. I have to see if she still has it. Oh my god. Man, is she still my friend? Fuck. No. I know her first name. I don't know her last name. I don't want to dox her. I haven't been on Facebook in like over a year. Oh shit. 
Yeah, I'm not- I'm not showing her. Yeah, what if it was Lily Pichu? <laughs> Mortal enemies from the very beginning. Oh, where is she? Where the fuck are you? It's so weird, like, scrolling by all these, like, familiar names from people, like, I went to school with and just seeing, like, their pictures, just them, like, on their wedding day or with their literal children that are, like, five years old now. Does that weird you guys out? Because in my memory, they're still, like, kids. The last time I saw them was when we were all, like, 17, 18. I can't imagine them being, like, grown-ass adults having, like, lives and like children that they're raising. Children that are probably gonna go to middle school themselves sometime soon. That's fucked up. Isn't that fucked up? Dude, is, is that possible? Like their kids might be old enough to start going to like fucking sixth grade now. What is time? Yeah, cause how long ago, when was I in middle school? I was in middle school in like 2006? Oh my god. Do you think her kids have the hoodie? Honestly, I'd be fine with that. That'd be kind of cute. Fuck, what was her last name? Uh, 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 uh. I have had like... Recently when I've checked Facebook, I've gotten messages from people I went to school with saying like they recognize me from Twitch. That's fucked up. Okay. <gasps> Fuck. Dude, you know what's fucked up? I don't think I'll ever be able to find her. She might be married now and her last name might be different. No. And I'm not gonna be able to like recognize her face. I'm never gonna find her! I'm never gonna find my hoodie! Fuck, what was her name? God damn it, man! Holy shit! You know, I have yearbooks. All my yearbooks are back at my mom's house. And I don't think I still have my middle school one. Fuck, was that actually her name? I'll find her. I'll fucking find her. I will find her! And I'll find my hoodie! Maybe she would mail it to me. Fuck, what's her name? Hopefully she like did the thing. She seems like the kind of person that would like hyphenate her name after getting married. I hope. I fucking pray. She's gone? No, she's not gone! And she was real! She was real! <gasps> no. I keep... Bro, I'm going on to like various like profiles of people that I'm friends with. And just like searching for her name. I feel like such a creep. This is so abnormal. This is like stalker shit over like something that happened. Wait, is this her? Something that fucking happened over 10 years ago. Is this her? No, no, this isn't her. She's too old. No offense. Wait, is this her? No, it's not. She blocked. Do you think she fucking blocked me? Wait, why would she block me? I gave her my fucking hoodie! Shit. Is this her? Bro. I think I found her. She got notifications every... No, 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 no. Is that a Facebook thing? Do people on Facebook know if you like look at their profile, if you go to it? Hmm. 
No, she's in the chat. Wait, fuck. I know her name started with an A. But what if she spells it in a different way now? What if she decided to like go by like a more fancy ver version of the name that she used to go by? Because she's like older now and she's like married and shit. Oh god! Oh bro. I found the, the blast off story girl. She... I think she has kids now. This is getting depressing. What if she hates you? Why would she hate me? I don't remember like... I barely even talked to her back in the... in the day. I think the most I talked to her was literally that day I gave her my hoodie. I just... If I'm being honest, I, I wanted to fit in more. She seemed cool and she was hanging out with a cool group of girls and I was just like, maybe if I give her my hoodie... Maybe we could become friends. Maybe... We could hang out. And I could be cool too. 